YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, welcome to my channel. Man, that bird's having a hard time flying in this wind. It is so windy out right now. It's probably going to be hard to make a video in this wind. It is 8.30 in the morning. It is 90 degrees. I'm on my way to go see the famous Kissing Saguaro. I'm curious to see if it's even standing still. The last time I was out there to see it was probably about a year and a half ago. And, uh... I have a lot of people on Facebook that follow me and uh, ask me questions about the cactuses and the swirls and the things that I post in videos I post on Facebook of the desert. And I work with a couple of professional photographers and there's one from Phoenix and he was asking me where this kissing swirl was because he wants to come down next month and go see it. I told him, I don't know if it's still standing because last time I was out there it was in pretty rough shape. It was like splitting apart. So I told him I would go check it out for him, let him know if it's still standing because uh, there's no use since coming two and a half hour drive from Phoenix to Tucson to come see us more that no longer is standing. So that's where I'm going. I probably got about 45 mile drive in the middle of nowhere and do some off-roading. So, <clears throat> it is 30% humidity out right there, so it's pretty muggy out today too. So I got a long drive ahead of me. And on the right over here is a place where if you come early enough, you can catch coyotes just sitting on the, on the road here. Let me see if I go in here and see if I see any coyotes here. Uh, because people like to feed them and they're not scared of people. But uh, I've caught them on video before. I usually sit like right. There, it is. there we are, right there. There's one right there. That one looks like a hyena. I can't zoom, but he's right in front of me. And right there is the Dares Museum. That one looks pretty skinny. Let's see how close you let me get. People that walk right up to your car, people usually feed them. That one's a tiny one. Looks like a baby. There he goes. Hmm. He moved off to the left. Pretty boy. Oh, it's a girl. No, it's a boy. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. There's usually two of them here, though. All right, let me get back on the road. A little bit further, there was another one sitting in the middle of the road. He got up and he ran out. He's right over there. So, that's two. These are little ones. Last time I came by here, they were huge. You can see them right there. There he goes. How they can just run like that and not land on cactus and get cactus in them is strange. All right, I mean, I gotta go turn around. Years ago, when I was trying to find this kissing saguaro, it took me about a year and a half to find it. When I did find it, I had to go down this road right here, Howlgrass Road, which takes you all the way to the end. There's a Ironwood Picnic Grounds, is what it's called. You can park there, and then you got like a three mile hike, and you gotta hike all the way around this mountain. And then on the other side of that mountain is another big mountain like that a little bit further. And that's how I accidentally found this kissing saguaro. I was looking for another crested saguaro, which I found also over there. But uh, that was a bonchi. But uh, that's Tucson Mountains. Old Tucson's that way. Uh, Golden Gate over here. There used to be a, a, a crested saguaro right over there. You park over there on K7 parking, pull out, and then you hike up to the base of that mountain up there. It was a big fan crested swirl. But uh, I apologize for the wind, can't do anything about it. It's a very windy day today. But uh, let's continue. This is a cool place right here. It's called uh, Tucson Mineral Gym World. It's got a lot of cool rocks in there. They got it giant T-Rex. This car has been sitting there forever. And they have a 
giant TV. So I've probably got about another 10 miles to drive. That's one thing about this drive. There's so many cool things to pull out. You know, pull over and stop, get out and look at and experience. And there's a, two crested swirls in this area too. One in this guy's front yard right over here. But, uh, almost to the destination where I have to start going off-roading. Right before you get to Alden Road, it's Chevy Avenue. You'll see this weird growths on this floor right here. Crazy weird. A lot of weird cool things on this drive. Alright, now I'm heading down Alden Road. Uh, you can camp out here actually. And uh, shoot your guns out here. I haven't been out here in forever. Oh my goodness, man. Look at that drop off. Oh. That is one big drop off. I came out here one time in my Honda CRV. With all the monsoon rains we've been getting, I'm wondering if I can even drive up this road. You have to be careful because uh, people come out here and shoot their guns. Yeah, this road is way rougher than last time I was out here. Campers. I don't know if you have to pay to camp out here or not. Hmm, I think I go left here. Man, it's been a while since I've been out here. I don't have four wheel drive in this Jeep, but let's see. I drove about a mile up the road and uh, I'm stopping here because the road is getting pretty rough. I don't have four-wheel drive. Safety zone, no shooting. If I had a quad or a dirt bike or something like that, I could uh, drive all the way up to the Kissing Swirl. But uh, now I've got to do, got to walk it. It's probably about a half a mile from here. And uh, we'll see if it's still standing. It's up over there past that mountain over there. And with all the monsoons, it brings out all the snakes. Been a lot of snakes this year. I almost got bit in my hand uh, not too long ago, about a week and a half ago. Uh, in my front yard, I reached down. My wife never rolls up the hose. And I reached down to grab the handle of the hose. <clears throat> For some, some reason, I didn't grab it like I normally grab it. I just picked it up with my pinky as the handle part and when I lift the hose up there was a baby rattlesnake right underneath where the handle was laying and he reared up in strike position and when I pulled the hose back he struck out a couple of times and at first I didn't know it was a rattler because it wasn't rattling it just was striking like crazy multiple times almost got my hand I told my wife, all these years I've been hiking in the desert, I've always seen the snakes and never almost gotten bitten and then almost get bit in my front yard. He had two little rattles. He never rattled. He just was very aggressive at striking and I could barely see him. He blended in so well with the leaves on the ground and stuff. But uh yeah, that's why I tell people all the time they don't always rattle. I don't I don't remember this road. It's been such a long time since I've been out here. Somewhere over I gotta go past this over there. Yeah, if you had a quad or a side by side or a good four wheel drive, you could drive right up to this kissing sorrow. This is why I didn't drive any further because the road is so rough. The wind is so strong today. This when I wish I had a dirt bike.
chunky rocks easily twist an ankle over here. Well, man, this wind is so hard to walk in. So windy. It doesn't look like a kissing swirl. It's moving like crazy. Yeah, I think it was like a year and a half ago last time I was here. And back then I said, I don't think it'll be here in a year. Well, I was wrong. It's still here, but it looks like people have been shooting it. It definitely does not look like a, a kissing swirl. I'll put a picture here of what it used to look like, although this nest is still here. It just looks like a peace sign. Yeah. This was a famous swore. I remember I saw it on the news. Only one guy knew where it was. And he was saying on the news it's very difficult to get to. And I was like, well, if the news can get there, I can get there. And uh, that video was uh, on the news, and then somebody posted it on uh, YouTube. And the guy that found it and was giving credit for finding it was his YouTube channel and I contacted him and he said it's in the hard area you'll never find it he wouldn't tell me where it was so I said oh I'll find it dude if you don't want to help me and uh, if you can see in the background there's a big building with a big roof and to the right it has a water tower so I started getting on Google Earth and they said in the, on the news it was in the Tucson mountains Little did I know there's about 15 water tanks near big buildings in the Tucson mountains. And I was able to weed out all the other ones because the mountains in the background didn't match on uh, Google Earth to any other water towers. And one day I was just out here, I was actually at the top of that peak, and I came down this road here, and as I was going to go head that way, uh, that's how I spotted it. Yeah, it doesn't look anything like the kissing swirl, but it's still here. This used to be a little round ball. This was actually a little bit shorter too. There's the shadow. This thing is in rough shit. Took me about 20 minutes to hike up to it. A lot of rough looking swirls in the area, but yeah, it's, it's no longer looks anything like the kissing swirl. So, I got one more place I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head back to my car, and uh, that hill is way steeper than what it looks like. It's still standing here. I can tell that photographer he wanted to come down and look at it. I actually I sent him a picture, showed him what it looks like. It doesn't look like the kissing swirl anymore. And, and I've been telling them for like three years, and you do, you need to come down here, it's in rough shape, but uh, now he's never going to get a picture of it. Anyways, I'm going to head back to my car. Alright, I'm almost back to my car. It's, yeah, it's a 20 minute hike from where I parked. I'm just parked right there. I was talking about that rattlesnake earlier, a baby rattlesnake. I do have a video of it. If you're interested, you can go to my Instagram. I seek out the truth, Arizona, all one word. And I have a video of the baby rattlesnake that almost bit me in the hand. Uh, I got one more area I got to go, probably six, seven miles from here, of another crested swore that was in really rough shape. And uh, I'm going to go see if that's still standing since I'm already down in this area. Who is hot? I'm supposed to get up to 101 today. Alright, I'm about four and a half miles from where I was parked. I'm on uh, Bop Road and it turns into Sarasota Road once you cross the street. That's Kenny Road and I'm crossing over there. This dead ends on the Sarasota Trailhead parking. And uh, just behind the parking lot is where this Crescent World is. Or I don't know. I don't know if it's still there. I'm going to find out. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna go check on right now, since I'm in the area. All right, well, this one you can drive up to. I'm just talking to that guy right there. He didn't even know about it. It's still standing. This is uh, 
probably about the tenth one that I drove by today. I didn't stop and film them all, but you can see them from when you're driving. It's a nice little one. It's swaying pretty good, the wind's blowing. Got a big chunk taken out of it right here. I don't know what caused that, birds maybe? I don't know, check, check out the mountain, beautiful views. Very windy day today, it's getting very warm. Uh, it's a 360 degree view from where I'm at. This is the Sarasota Trailhead, and this is right behind the parking lot. Sarasota Trailhead. So I'm gonna head home. If you like these kind of videos, smash that subscribe button. Don't touch anything, it's free. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment down below. If you like these type of videos, let me know. Uh, I post short clips on my Facebook, and I get all kinds of people interested in these crested swirls on Facebook. Look at these beautiful mountains. I've hiked to the top of that mountain from the other side. I've been everywhere on these trails. That's Gates Pass over there where it goes like that. Old Tucson's on the other side of that mountain over there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to head home. It's getting lunch time for me. I didn't bring any lunch. So thanks for taking time to watch my videos. If you like these kind of videos, remember if the Lord willing the creeks don't rise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Like, comment, subscribe. Get down, go. Change, you filthy animal.